Welcome to this week's Hymn of the Week. This week we have ELW 263, Savior of the Nations Come. This is an Advent hymn, and what I'd like to do first is look at what did Martin Luther do with this hymn? Uh, because it's interesting to see what he's come up with. He's made it definitely more singable for the congregation. So let's look at the original tune. I'm going to play that for you. The original plain song tune. Hopefully you heard some similarities between the two. I think some of the first things that we can establish is we have eight syllables in the first, in the original version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then we have seven in the, the revised version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And so what that means is that's the first change uh, Martin Luther made. And then also we have the second part, uh, which you can see this raised fourth into the melody to make it more interesting and a very typical genius move by most of the hymn writers and composers is to repeat the line at the end. that you have at the beginning. Now one other change Martin Luther made was to make a bit better cadence in the second line. Because here's the original. Original playing song, chant, right? And he changes that to, or if we wanted to do it in the key. Uh, so anyway, so what that means is he makes it a much stronger cadence instead of just hanging on that note. He comes back down. The third, uh, the, the third in, uh, in that case, you could view it as the third scale degree. So he goes three, one, three, one. Anyway, I'm making this a much longer story than it should be. But the idea is you could see that Martin Luther was putting a lot of thought into making the hymn more singable for the congregation. And even though the hymnal attributes music to Johann Walter, we know that Johann Walter collaborated with Martin Luther for the Geistliche Gesangbüchlein, which you see here in 1524, and also Le Push, I think, as well. So uh, it's really important to remember that probably a lot of this is Martin Luther's uh, music, uh, or revised music from the chant. And obviously the text is translated by Martin Luther from the Latin. So, and you can see that the original Latin is attributed to Ambrose of Milan, who was really known as the father of church hymnody, not because he was the first, but because his texts were just so good. I mean, and he was also very effective as a leader in the church uh, not just his devotional life, had connections with St. Augustine, uh, but also uh, defended against the paganism. So let's try it. Savior of the nations, come. And I will be using some settings from John Banke uh, to enhance this. 